What's up, dudes? I'm the Dominicator, the dominant male hypnotist. And in this video, I'm going to hypnotize you to become social and outgoing. Sort of. As in all of my videos, you'll be asked to comment at the end while hypnotized. So go ahead and log into an account that you can use for that. Mute any distractions and continue when you're ready. All right, dudes, a little background first. If you're watching this video, you're probably not social or outgoing. You're probably an introvert or maybe an extrovert with social anxiety. If you're an introvert, the first thing that you have to understand is that you're in no way disabled. Being introverted is not the same as being socially inept. There are socially inept extroverts and I'm sure that you met them. These are people who talk too much, come on way too strong, don't listen enough, or maybe they tire others out with their energy. Some extroverts put others off, and they have the same social problems as introverts. And likewise, there are some alpha male introverts who dominate a social setting because of their rugged individualism and cool confidence that attracts other people to follow them. People around them realize that they talk because they have something to say, and not because they have to say something. Now the main problem that people face with being social is that they don't know how to be social. And since they don't know how, they fear failure more than people who do know how, and therefore they have no confidence. Competence leads to confidence. If you know how to work it, you don't have anything to fear. But if you don't know the right way to socialize, or if you're afraid of screwing up, then you have to start somewhere. Logically, your starting place has to be a position of not caring about what other people think about you. And fortunately, as an introvert, you have a stronger potential than extroverts not to care about what other people think of you. Hypnosis can't turn you into an extrovert, at least not for long or without an extensive program that inches you out of your comfort zone, but you can find a very strong, confident voice by not trying to be an extrovert, but by being a better introvert. And that's much easier. If you draw even further into yourself, you'll eventually ground yourself in your own thoughts and your own ideas, and you won't even need other people's approval to express those ideas. Talk to other people for your own reasons first, and then learn the nuances of social interaction once you find your voice and your confidence. Now, an important side note about this is that you need something on the inside to bring out to the table. If you don't have that, then create it. Remember that you don't need other people's permission to speak. You might be surprised to discover for yourself that if you're a strong individualist with unique ideas, people will flock to you, and some will respect you more the less that you seek their approval. And even if you develop a reputation for being surly or rude, you're still going to attract more people than you would if you stayed completely invisible. And if someone doesn't respect you for being authentic, if you do in fact have something interesting to say, then they weren't worth your time to begin with. And that attitude is your key to becoming social and outgoing. It's not caring about what other people think of you. It's about you playing the game for your own interests. So your hypnosis for being social and outgoing is about being unapologetically yourself and making something more interesting of yourself. So dudes, whenever you're ready, let's move on to the induction. Now to begin, I want you to concentrate on the dot in front of you. Watch it as it goes back and forth and back and forth. Notice how it relaxes you and makes your eyes feel tired and heavy. But keep those eyes open until you hear me snap my fingers. And when I snap my fingers, those eyes will snap down shut, and they'll feel so good. 
But until then, continue watching. And as you continue watching, the closer and more connected that you become with the dot in front of you. You'll notice that as it sways back and forth and back and forth that your body and even your mind will sway back and forth and back and forth along with the dot. Feel the motions as you follow the dot with your eyes. And notice that your eyes become more tired and more heavy. And now notice how all of the distractions around you tend to make you go even deeper. And the more that you hear any distractions around you, the further into a deep and relaxing state that these distractions push you. And the more things that you see, the further that you'll go. And the more things that you feel as you sway back and forth, the further down you go. And even the feelings that you have right now about going into a deep and relaxing state push you even further down. And also notice that as your body begins to sway back and forth along with the dot, that it becomes more loose and limp. It becomes more loose and limp, just like a rubber band, as it loosens up as you sway back and forth. You're becoming just like the dot as you sway back and forth and back and forth. And it feels so good just to follow along and go with the flow of moving back and forth. And now notice the sound of my voice and how it relaxes you and how it seems to reach inside your mind. And the more that I speak, the further my voice reaches inside of your mind and the more that my words take effect. My voice relaxes you. It relaxes all of the muscles in your body as they become loose and limp, just like a rubber band. And they become looser and limper with each and every word that I say. And now soon, I'm going to count from one to five. And when I reach five, I'm going to snap my fingers. And when I do, those sleepy and tired eyes are going to snap shut. And all of the muscles in your body are going to go loose and limp completely. You'll still feel the swaying motion back and forth, even as you drift further down into a state of sleep. Now, one, becoming looser. Two, as you sway back and forth. And three, about to go very deep. And four, as your whole body will relax. And five, sleep. Sleep. And now I want you to continue drawing even further into yourself. And the more that I speak, the more that you'll draw even further into yourself. And the further and further into yourself that you go, the less that you'll care about anything that's happening around you. And with each and every word that I say, and each motion that you feel, you're going deeper and deeper into yourself, further and further down. You'll go so far down into yourself that you won't care about anything that's happening around you. You'll go so far down into yourself and in your own head that you won't care about anybody around you. And you'll be so preoccupied with what's happening inside your head that you won't care about anything that you're doing in the outside world. You'll go so far inward that if you get bored that you'll be able to create new ideas and find out new things that you never even knew about yourself. And you won't even care about anybody around you. And in fact, you can say whatever you want to because you won't care about 
anything else around you. And you'll find that as you go further inward and further down, that the more interesting your own little world becomes, and the more interesting that you find your own ideas, the less and less that the outside world seems to matter at all. And the less that it seems to matter, the less you care about what you say. And in fact, you'll find that you can do and say whatever you want to, because all you care about is what's happening with you. Sometimes you'll find that you want to say something to somebody about the ideas that you have. Or maybe you just want to say something. You can very easily say whatever you want to because you're so far down, so far into yourself, so very relaxed and at ease that nothing else matters. And you're going even deeper right now. And in fact, when you get to the very bottom and the very center of your own universe, that that's when you're going to wake up. You will wake up after you go down as far as you can into yourself. And when you wake up, you'll continue to feel just like you do now. And you'll feel even more awake, noticing how sleepy you were before you drifted deeply inside the very center of your own world and how much of a fog that you were in before you drifted down deeply into the center of your own world and you'll carry this feeling that you have now to the outside as you wake up. Now I'm going to count from one to five and as I count from one to five You'll go even deeper until you reach the center. And when you do, your eyes will snap open and you'll be wide awake. And I want you to leave a comment and say whatever you want to. And you find that when you're able to say anything that you want, you'll notice that you feel very good expressing yourself without any cares or any worries about anything around you. Now beginning with one, as you go closer to the center, two, as you go further and further down, three, and soon you'll be wide awake, and four, you're almost completely there, and five, wide awake. All right, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and check out Dominicator.com to visit my t-shirt store or to schedule an appointment with me to get hypnotized. Catch you later, dudes.